four. And then this is the week that I was booking meetings, but I was in Phoenix and somehow my computer didn't catch on that. And it was like one hour ahead. So everything was messed up. It's all <laughs> <I'm> good. <laughs> So thank you. thank you for being flexible with me. Yes. Yes. It's all good. What are you looking to do? I'm glad to see you again. Yeah. Same you here. Thinking? So here's what's going on. Um, I do have uh, two things that I'm working on. The first one is I'm working on my program to teach people how to raise capital. Mm -hmm. And it's an online program and mm -hmm. I have been doing some kind of coaching 10 week challenge where they get access to me through Zoom. But now I'm gonna bump those prices and I just gonna do it live. Wow. But for the online training, I wanna start creating a social media kind of campaigns and getting myself out there for that. I was just testing materials and now I'm in the process of you know creating the videos and all of that, but I have been teaching the class already. Wow, so, Jen, I finally, finally, finally meet someone <laughs> that is on the exact page that I'm on as far really? as business, as far as, as far as product and what you're actually developing. Yeah. I am all about the quote unquote training course, coaching side of it all, where now yeah. I can, whether it's coaching or whether it's packaging everything up in video form and, and, and now selling an actual course, yeah. right? I've been, I've been cracking that code for the past, for the past year, year and a half. Cool. <laughs> and, and I've literally, I've literally, cause I have mentors, you have mentors, right? You have people that you're following on social media. I have, you know, people that I'm following on social media. And when it comes to the course side of everything, I follow people that are very, very successful selling their course, selling their knowledge, right? And so one particular person that I've been following for a while, I literally just invested four days ago, 5,000 into his course, teaching me how to, how to scale my course. Wow. So I am all about that, Jen. I am all about, awesome. about that. That is so cool that you're doing that. Yeah, so Go that's super that. cool. <laughs> that's awesome. Well, that's where I'm heading, right? Um, the software I, is what I want to help you with as well. The software, but go ahead. Keep, okay. keep going. Okay, so right now I'm using Thinkific as a platform. Oh, man. Oh, man. Okay, uh, so okay, so that's, that's, that's exactly what I'm going to talk to you about. Okay, what okay. else? What so else? I'm using Thinkific. I, I was looking at Kajabi mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, because I do... I have classes with Brandon Bouchard and mm -hmm. I saw how he is. So mm -hmm. I like, I like Kajabi, but I decided to go thinking fit for now. I think it's more, it's a more economic product and it's just deliver exactly what I have for now. Mm -hmm. um, and I'm willing to try other things, right? I don't have a problem with that, mm -hmm. but it mm -hmm. just have to be pretty simple for me. Um, mm -hmm. So, but anyway, from the social perspective, here's what's going on. Um, I, I didn't have a brand before and I'm still working on my brand, but the mm -hmm. concept is the art of raising capital for real estate specifically. And um, I am about to start shifting things. Mm -hmm. And I honestly was the person that, you know, people is following me. I start my YouTube channel. I don't have anything. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I sent a couple of text messages and I got 128 subscribers mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. with an empty Good. channel. Amazing. Good. So, Good. and I, I did that in one day. Good. So now I want to start doing all the YouTube things, but I also start integrating social media now that I'm more defined exactly on what I want to do. Amazing. So, correct. And I'm just targeting real estate investors. I already know my target. Doesn't matter women or man. Mm -hmm. um, they, they have to have either, they are interested in real estate education. Mm -hmm. They have to have completed education, complete their education. And also they have to, um, either do some deals kind mm -hmm. of thing. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. um, I am targeting people between 25 to 50. And the reason for that is they have to be technically savvy because this is online and it 
you know, I'm not going to be teaching them. So I know that that's the range. I know it's a big range, mm -hmm. but I also know that they have to be making something around $75,000 um, in profit in order to, you know, be able to consider something like that, because this is the kind of people that really have the aspirations to go to the next level. And that's where the raising capital, I mean, the real estate investors to start. If it's lower that, I don't think it's going to work for them. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, so mm -hmm. I, I have a little bit, I know that they hang out in real estate places. I know they hang out in educational places for real estate. And also there's other places I've prepared a list mm -hmm. um, of other places I think they might hang out. Um, awesome. Yeah. And some of the competitors too. And I say competitors, but they do very different than what I do. Mm -hmm. um, some of my competitors is Grand Cardone. And mm -hmm. I do this because Grand Cardone is about sales. And I do not teach to do real, I mean, raising capital like that. Mm -hmm. For me, it's about connecting and creating your own profile for the investors. And I teach you what to do, how to do it exactly. Mm -hmm. And then how to pitch the deal. There's only one person that I love him a lot. He's one of my mentors. He's Oren Claff. Mm -hmm. Um, and I love the way he does it, but he only specialized on pitching a deal and he's in everything. I am only in real estate. Mm -hmm. So that's why I mentioned those are some of my competitors. I start finding some books about people who, who talks about raising capital. Um, but they do not, you know, they, they know how to put a fund together and they talk about a syndication, but that's not raising capital. That's a structuring a deal. Mm -hmm. So I really teach about the fundamentals of raising capital. So I did that list. So I want to start reaching these people to start selling these classes. I do also have a membership, this which is online, where I give access to professionals. Um, that one is like 997 but I want to do a 297 intro price as they get to be there a year. And after that, they see the value and they're not going to have any kind of problems actually paying $2,000 for it. Right. Wow. <clears throat> so, um, but I'm just <clears throat> starting that very, like even my class, I told two of the guys that I met this past weekend in Phoenix, when I told them that I only charge $3,000 for my class, they just say, no question, sign me up because they say, Jennifer, this is like a life changing thing and you can charge $15,000 easily. But that leads me to my second project, which is I want to create a community that they know how to raise capital and I can tap into them mm -hmm. because I want to create a fund of $100 million. Mm -hmm. And I want to start attracting private investors to my website, but that will be like a second project. So on this first project, what I want to do is focus on bringing those people to raise capital um, I'm thinking that the campaign will be, you know, the membership and, and in the same combination, create some kind of video that I do an upsell, like, Hey, but if you want to take it, then there's the fundamentals of raising capital. And if you're looking for mentors or coaches, then you need to apply here because I'm not mm -hmm. going to take every person that wants to work with me. Of course, of course. So, but yeah, but that's where I am. Um, and, and I, when I heard you, I'm like, this is the guy I want. Because honestly, like I have talked to many social medias, David, and I already know that they're BS. Right. So, like that, yeah. yeah, that's, and that's why I truly believe in video because video is, is so powerful when you, I mean, it's like people can see through you, first of all. So yeah. you can tell the ones that are out there that are really authentic and really, you know, keeping it real versus, you know, others. And that's why so many people and even professionals, so many people try to come out with the most fanciest video, the most edited professional video when it's like it looks fake like it, yeah. it looks like a commercial it looks like a like an infomercial right yeah. when social media is quite the opposite so if you're like really looking to turn to really turn yourself into the brand and and really become this coach and this consultant and this course creator mm -hmm. it obviously is going to evolve around you putting yourself out, out on video and and all it comes down to is simple video attacking that audience yeah. Like, first of all, it's, it's, it's with you knowing exactly who your avatar is, like you just, you just described your exact client, like you just ex 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 described your exact student, right? Being able to attack that person and being able to target them is a Facebook ad mm -hmm. for sure. Like for sure, for sure. That that's number one, Facebook ad or a YouTube ad. 
not your YouTube channel. I'm talking about a YouTube ad, yeah. right? Like I kind of brought up on our previous call, mm -hmm. but, but really I would, I would, I would learn Facebook ads first. It's Facebook ads, bringing them to, in this case, it would be like a presentation. What you want to get good at is a presentation. Yeah. So, so either you're going to be generating leads to get people to book a phone call and you're going to jump on the call and pitch everybody, or you're going to generate Facebook ads, generate leads to get mm -hmm. people to a webinar where they're yeah. watching Jen on a, on a presentation and, 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 and buying it that way. Yeah. That's exactly what you got. So, it's free leads so, to go to a webinar. Yeah. Um, yeah. The webinar I used to use webinar jam. Yeah. You don't even need that. Like I have yeah. the one software, I'll email you a link, like sign up with my link and I'll help you with it all. But I have the one software that hosts my landing pages, my email autoresponder, my membership course, my um, affiliate marketing. So, so, so once you develop this course, there's going to be students of yours that are fired up that get results and they're going to want to share it with everyone else. This same software allows my students to become affiliates so they can share it and get paid. So the software that I, that I use, it all, it all has everything in one. You're going to need an entire, so you don't need webinar jam. You're going to need an entire software that has it all. And yeah. I'll send you a link to, to what I use, but exactly what you're explaining is it, I have, I, I have 99% of it complete on my end. Mm -hmm. So for the past year and a half, Jen, you're speaking to somebody who literally has been perfecting exactly what you're, what you're trying to do. And I'm 99% done. The one awesome. percent is recording my webinar, and 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 that's the one percent is recording the damn webinar to get people to buy. But my training course, I have fifty videos that are already in a membership course. I have landing pages, I have funnels, I have an upsell, I have a downsell, I have everything already done. I done it all. Mm -hmm. And 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 but but the software that I use makes it so simple for anybody because normally, yeah, we got to go get think it, think think if it or what's it called, think it or 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 think what's it? there's think if it and Kajabi. There's, there's Teachable. There's Kajabi. We got to go get that one. And then we got to get an email autoresponder. And then we got to, then we got to get click funnels for the landing pages. And then we got to get some type of schedule once or Calendly for the calendar. Cause people are going to want to, you know, schedule appointments, coaching calls, coaching sessions. So when you start building this, this thing out, you're going to find yourself paying for five, six, seven different services every month. Mm -hmm. I use one and it's, and it's $99 a month. So what you're paying for Kajabi alone or what you're paying for teachable alone, like or think of big. Thinkific, yeah. what you're paying yeah, for that's that alone. Right there. Thinkific. Yeah, Thinkific. Yeah. What you pay for that per month alone, that covers everything else that you're going to need. Landing pages, okay. email automation, then, webinar. I will webinar speak it out, no brainer. Yeah, it's like a no brainer. Like, and, and, it, and there's a 14 day trial. So I want you to try it 14 days and just compare it to what you got going on. Compare it to Thinkific, to compare it to Kajabi, compare it to all these other random services. And you're going to find it super, super simple. But here's what I'm okay. saying. For sure, you know your audience. Okay, Facebook ad, target that audience, drive it to a webinar. That's easy. YouTube ad, drive it to a webinar, target that audience. That's easy. So now it really comes down to that webinar. And those are your two avenues. Facebook ad or a YouTube ad or even an Instagram ad. Those are your top three. Yeah. Everything else aside of that. Can you share with LinkedIn, David? I wouldn't, I mean, you can run Facebook ads on LinkedIn. You can even post on LinkedIn. You could try to be organic on LinkedIn. It's just slow. It's super slow. So that's what I was getting ready to say. Number one is you got to go straight to, to paid traffic. You got to go straight to Facebook ads or Instagram ads or YouTube ads only because Jen already knows her exact client. Like, because you can already describe that person, why in the hell do I need to play around posting on all these damn platforms just to try to get people's attention when I already know who the hell I'm looking for? Yeah. So I might as well run it. LinkedIn, though. That's I know they hang out in LinkedIn, but I also know that yeah. they hang out on Facebook. And yeah, yeah, Facebook. Facebook. Yeah, for okay. sure, Facebook. So, so here's my point. Number one, Facebook ads, and then, uh, and then aside of that, then you have your organic posting. That's where we're posting on all these other social media platforms, and we're just trying to create a buzz. What I would do, and this is what I have done, and this is what I do. This is how I got up to 1,800 subscribers. What I do is I'll run Facebook ads to my exact client. So I'm not messing around mm -hmm. posting on all these other platforms. My content is very strategic. The video, the ad goes straight through Facebook because Facebook ad, I know exactly who to target and I'm going to just target it that way. Okay. On YouTube with that same. 
right? What's that? You, you do the ad and you manage the ad and everything. That's yeah, 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 yeah. That's what I do. That's what I do. But but I'm 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 just giving you the blueprint on what I do for myself as well. Okay. This is day in the life. This is what I really do, like for my own business. Mm -hmm. So the video content, I'm 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 video, right? I could tell that you're video. Not everyone's video, right? Not everyone can get out there and put their face out on video, but I, I know you can, you know, obviously I can looking at my YouTube channel. Obviously I do. Right. And so with that same video that I would be running a Facebook ad with, I simply park it over here as well. So I'm building a YouTube channel. I'm building a, a quote unquote YouTube following a YouTube community of like-minded people. And guess what? Because that video is long form, long form is 10 plus minutes. And, 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 and because my video is tutorial, it's teaching. That's what your videos would be based on your videos. Yeah. You'd be teaching people, right? You'd be teaching, yeah. teaching. That's all it is. Tutorial screen share, teach me something, right? So that's perfect for YouTube 10 plus minutes, because here's the reality. If I could, if I took that same content and posted it on LinkedIn, it's gone in three seconds in the newsfeed. If yeah. I take that same video and post it on my Facebook business page, where there's 600 people who like my page. Facebook's only shown it to 1% of my 600 likes. I think I'm the shit because I have 600 likes when little do you know, your 600 ain't nothing because Facebook's only shown it to 1%. Anyways, <clears throat> and so posting that video on your Facebook business page, sharing it to your personal page, sharing it on Twitter, none of that stuff makes sense to me. When I could take that same video, put it on YouTube, build a same audience and, and, and following on YouTube, but on YouTube, start getting paid for it. Yeah. Exactly. Like, exactly. like that's, that's why I'm, I'm so fired up about, about my YouTube channel now because, and I talk about this on my channel all the time. I talk about the fact where this was content that I would have put out on social media anyways, but because I didn't waste the time putting on LinkedIn, because I didn't waste the time just posting it organically, I actually took the time and uploaded it to my YouTube channel. And because I actually found a pattern and found a strategy in that two to three videos per week, because I've been doing that for the past, let's just call it nine months. Now this channel over here is over at, let's, let's see where the subscribers at. Now we're at 1804 and now this month alone, well, actually what, what happened in February, let me show you in February. Once that channel becomes monetized, as you know, Jen, these people no, none of these other platforms are going to be sending me money. Look, YouTube this month alone or February, they sent me 533. Yeah. Like that money, Jen, I don't give a, I don't care how wealthy a person thinks they are. Give me, give me an extra 500 a month in positive cash flow. This is from videos that I put on my channel two years ago. Yeah. But because now I'm monetized now, now the momentum has hit and now it's like compound interest. Now I have hundreds of videos that are being watched and these pennies are just adding up. Right. I'm and, there and, with you. And it's like, dude, that five thirty three that can offset so that that can offset my marketing expense. Exactly, you got it. That's where I'm right? heading. I want so my like, thing to pay for itself. I'm here to tell you right now: video content, Facebook ad, target your exact audience. Take that same video, upload two to three of them per week, every single week for the next twelve months on your YouTube channel, and on the video also, also also on the video. Let me open up one of these videos so you can see because this is all this is all you got to do. On the video, you're going to put a thumbnail, you're going to write the description, mm -hmm. you're going to put a catchy headline. Yeah, you're going I, to I put actually, just to let you know, I, I, I'm, I'm taking a class with uh, Sonny Lenarsi. Perfect, perfect. That's, yeah, all you, okay. that's all you need to know. And at the, at, the, at the same time, it's just these basics. Thumbnail, the description, putting an end screen, learning the card, putting a card, putting it in a playlist, so create a playlist. Yeah, I did that already too. Catchy title. That's it. And so here's the magic. What I've found just based on my experience, two to three videos per week for 12 months. Yeah. Do that. And I haven't done that for exactly 12 months. I've done that for about six months. So I'm six months in and my channel has hit momentum. And, and last month the check was over 500 this month for March, it'll be over 600 next month. It'll be over 700. And it's like, man, that's content that I was putting out anyways. Yeah. Exactly. You know what I mean? Hey, you don't have to sell me that one. I'm already on that Great. one. So. I, this stuff just fires me up. It fires me up. So that, that's what I would be doing if I were you, Jen, is, is simply just targeting. But first, you obviously, and here's the deal. Start with the basics. I'm going to dumb it down even further. Let me dumb it down even more. 
Let me look at your pages. I'm going to show you where to That's really exactly start. That's what I'm, I'm actually, it's funny. As we are talking, I'm, I'm listening to you, but I'm just sending you my pages. I was doing an email. <laughs> <laughs> Let me check. Hold on. Yeah, Facebook. I'm just about to send it. Give me one second. I was just copying the links. So I send you dot. Let me, okay. Send you this one too. Which John and I even have one that it's like I, I have people that follow me and that's the other thing that I noticed. Even when I have broken English, people love to hear about me. Jen, be, because it's you, because it's you. And, 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 and back to what you were saying earlier, I don't mean to cut you off, but let me say this before I forget it. When you bring up, when anyone brings up the word competitor, mm -hmm. it's a shift in mindset that needs to happen. There's no competitor. Jen has absolutely zero competitors. And that, this is not a hype type of personal development thing. This is a reality. You yeah. have no competitors. I have no competitors. I don't give a damn who the heck is offering the same exact services. They're not me. And I don't care who's trying to pitch my same client. Their pitch is not my pitch. Yeah. Right? So it's like, and, and, and when I put myself out on video, guess what? Those same other people that you're following that might be teaching the same stuff, they're not like me. Like, like that video, that's why that video is so transparent because no matter who you are, you're broken English and everything. People are going to gravitate to you because yeah. it's you. Yeah. So there is no competition, like at all, at all, at all, at all. Like the market is so wide open. There's mm -hmm. so much abundance out here for us. Yeah. Where it's like yeah. at the end of the day, you don't even need everyone. Mm -hmm. Give me a percentage. Give me a percentage of a multi-billion dollar industry and I'm fine. Yeah. I don't need the whole damn thing. Give me a crumb of the pie. I, I just need a crumb. Yeah. And when you put yourself out there on video, it allows you to find that crumb. It allows you to find that little needle in the haystack of the people who actually like you. And, 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 and I'm telling you, you don't even need that many. You don't need that yeah. many. You don't need that many. We don't need millions of people to like us. Give me a few thousand and I'm good. Yeah. Like I'm looking at my YouTube channel at 1800 subscribers and they're already wanting to send me 500 bucks. Damn, can you imagine if that was just 18,000? I follow people at 180,000. You probably follow people that are at a million subscribers. Mm -hmm. It's like, wow, what are their income? What's their income at? I, I'm yeah. not even thinking that. Give me a fraction and I'm good. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? That's what I'm heading. I don't even so, have competitors in real estate. I already did the research too and all don't. that. And I have tough questions. I already know exactly which videos I'm going to do. I just send you the links of the different things I have. And honestly, as I told you, there's no branding, there's no alignment, but um, my, my purpose in the upcoming months is to start aligning this to really go out there. And in seven months, my ideal thing is to sell also promoting um, a book that I, want, I will be writing about nice. raising capital for real estate. And I already have who is gonna write my foreword, who is Robert D. Allen, he was one of my mentors. That said, oh, yeah. I, ha I have everything said. Now it's executing. Wow. I have been wow. planning for too long. Let's call it that, that way. Oh, I, I, I know exactly what you're saying, Jen. Oh, did I send you the wrong Invest thing? Invest with oh. Jen. Invest oh, my bad. Jen. I probably send you. I no, just it's all good. Yeah. You actually have a few of them. You have. Yeah, check Jen. Oh, yeah, yeah, you have the group and then you have the. um. Yeah, what I want to see is I want to see. I want to see your personal page and your business page. Okay. So because what I'm going to do is I'm going to dumb it down. I'm going to show you where to start. I'm going to show you where to start. Mm -hmm. Let's start with some simple organic. Um, so you mean my personal page, right? Yeah. Personal and the business page and your business page. So the business page needs to be renamed too, just to let you know. Oh because yeah. I, I know. I'm going to point out everything then. I'm going to point out everything for you. And then I have, I have a group. I have like three groups. Let me send you the, the ones that are going to be for the public. That way it helps. I have a group, but that there's one of the groups I like it a lot. And then I have one that I just started because I was having fun. There was nothing else there. Like, you know, people mm -hmm. say, what are you doing, Jen? I'm like, okay, I just literally going to create it. And because I quit my job and um, when I quit my job, people wanted to know what I was up to. So, yeah, I, I just share things with people and they just hit like. I'm not even nothing. There you go. I send you that too. Okay. So let me, um, let me just accept you. Only if you want to be my friend. <laughs> yeah. Well, yeah, I'm going to have to kick some people off cause I think I'm at the max. Okay. 
I'll kick some people off for sure. And we'll connect. Let me, um, I'm just on my phone checking the email. So it's facebook.com forward slash. Yeah. Let's see if I can just, okay. So let's see if I can pull up Jennifer. You have to put Maldonado. Yeah. And Cintron right there. The bottom one, the bottom one. Cause there's that was you, the, the one in red. Yeah. Oh, gotcha. Okay. This one right yeah, here. That's me. Yeah. Perfect. 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 Okay, cool. So here's, here's where I'm going to dumb it down for you, Jen. I'm going to dumb it down. This is where I truly believe you need to start. Okay. okay. Um, and, it, and it's right here on this, on this personal page. Are any of these your actual business page? Um, do you see that woman in business really fine? That's the one I want to change because it should be the art of raising capital. I just need to change the name. Okay. So that's, that's where we start. That's where we start. This is what I call step one. Okay. So this is your page right here. Correct. Perfect. Okay. So when I come to, come to this, come to this personal page, that should be the only link that should be this, this, this one up here. If this is the one you're promoting, that should be the only link over here. Okay. Should There's I just too many, mm -hmm. too many other links going on. Should if, I delete all my past experiences then from the page? Oh yeah. Get rid of all those. Now, now what I'm saying is get rid of all of them as far as here in the intro if you uncheck them where they don't show here, they, they'll still show in the about. So you can still leave them. Okay, got Look it. Over okay. here under work and education. So how do I uncheck them? So when you're on your page, you could just hit the little edit. You'll, you'll see the little edit. If you just scroll, like you put your cursor right around here, you'll see a little edit. Uh -huh. and you could just click on that and you can uncheck. Got it. I see. What okay. is seen in the intro. Let me take then that. Done. And that, that Done. Ren inspires, it doesn't go anywhere. So take that out too, because it's a dead link. Done. So okay. Here's, done. here's what else you want to do. Let me refresh this. Perfect. You see how that just looks much cleaner? Yeah. Okay. Oh, I'd have to take the study. Should I take, take that? Take the studied out and take the followed out. And the follow? Okay. Yeah. And I'm going to show you what to put. Location, take it out. And and you know what? Check check box the lives because people want to know where the hell you live. You know, they want to live or or at least where you're from or or your hometown or whatever. Oh, that's true. Once um, someone sees that, it, it you know it resonates in you want to should I put um hometown and where I live now, both? Or, you, I, or one or the other. One or the other. You don't need both. Just do one or the other. Okay, let me then you just, choose. Yeah, because my town is really small but everyone is so proud of me in there like i have ladies posting for me and all my awesome. achievements i'm like wow oh you're gonna blow up jen you're gonna blow up yeah there you go done see it just looks much much more cleaner okay yeah. now here's what i need you to add here's what we're gonna add okay so let me show you um why well, i mean i could show you my page but mm -hmm. i was gonna show you like another real estate person but let me let me show you my page so what, once, once I come to this personal or when anyone comes to this personal, we see the business page that goes straight to the link that goes straight to your business page. Uh -huh. And then we see lives, we see from, we see from. What we also want to show are, is all of this over here. So when you come to my page, you see Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, my website address. It's right in front of your face. And if you look closely, every single one of them is identical. Uh-huh. I see. So, so just like you did over here with your business page, invest with Jen, that needs to be, that's the username. You have the title women in business. Yes. Can I, can, can I change that? Because I actually yeah. don't want to do that. I just, no, don't yeah, know yeah, to yeah, you, for sure. You could change it, but that's what we're going to want to do. So it's the, it's okay. the username. It's the, it's the at okay. Facebook forward slash that right there. That's what I want for Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, LinkedIn, and the dot com. Dan Maldonado and everything. Okay. And the dot com, it doesn't have to go to any specific website. I just want you to own the dot com because whatever name you're going to brand, make sure you own it all across all the platforms, especially the dot com. You don't want to set up all these platforms and all of a sudden someone owns a LinkedIn name. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? I see that over and over and over. So you want to make sure you just secure every name yes. and to get the actual dot com to get it for a discount, you can just go to, you can go to google.com first. Yeah, you want to, you want to, yeah. I have it with them. Oh, you already have the domain? Yeah, with them. Yeah. Well, perfect. I was going to show you how to get it for I a I have Jen Maldonado, but I don't have invest with Jen Maldonado. Whatever name you're going to use, that's the .com you're going to want. Okay. So do you have that one or no? 
No, I don't. I have only Jen Maldonado, but I don't have Invest with Jen Maldonado. I just make a okay. note for myself. Okay. So here's what you're going to want to do. Google.com. Mm -hmm. Google.com. And then you're going to, you're going to search. Let's go to Google.com. Um, this one. Okay. Google.com. And then you're going to search. Let's go to the actual homepage. Man, why does it keep taking me there? Okay. What you're going to search is cheap domains. And this is just a, a simple little coupon, Ch cheap domains. And then, and then there you can get your, your first year for a dollar. So you might as well just whatever name you're going to brand, but, but this, if you go in and try to purchase it for a buck, it won't let you do it under your existing account. So you'll have to set up a new account, which is fine. You can set up a new GoDaddy and whatever that name is, whatever, whatever the, the one name is you're going to use for everything. Also get the Gmail. So if you don't have the Gmail yet, set up the Gmail and then use that Gmail to purchase this domain. So you get it at 99 cents. So you mean like invest with Jen Maldonado at gmail.com? Yes. Got even it. if you're not going to use it, even if you're not going to use uh -huh. it, I need you to still secure it, lock it down and use that to register the domain. Got it. That way GoDaddy gives it, gives it to you for a dollar. Okay. Okay. So, so just matching everything, matching everything. They see it right here in the intro. They, people click on about and then, and then by default, they see the overview and then everything is listed right here. This right here, it's super basic. It's super stupid, but it's so, it's so powerful because that is our branding. That is our social media branding. I want to be able to give off one name and one name only. Mm -hmm. You know, you want to brand that one name to people and say, Hey man, whatever your favorite platform is, follow me there. Here's my username and they'll find you quick. And, and when you list them this way, all someone has to do is click on it and automatically they're following you on that or not they have to, you know, obviously click follow, but they're automatically on your page. Mm -hmm. Okay. I will so clean up super page. basic. And I just see everyone's pages missing it. So we need to add that, add that over here. And then which also is that one where you paste it. What's that? Where, which section is where you paste it? Okay. Good question. So when you're on your page, all you're going to do is click on contact and basic oh, info. And you're going to come to the social links hit edit and just paste in the username. Got it. That's Got it. it. But make sure it says public right here. Okay. Public. Mm -hmm. Make sure it says public, put in that new.com. And, and what I would do, what I would, here, here, here's an idea for you as well <clears throat> is as you go in and register the.com, maybe not even, <clears throat> maybe not even get the.com, maybe get the.tv. And whenever anyone clicks on it, look, when you click on my.tv, because it's quote unquote TV, people mm -hmm. automatically assume watching, right? So now I'm taking them to my YouTube. So when they click on that link, look where it takes them. It Got takes it. them straight to this link where they can subscribe right away. Yeah. Okay. And I need to set up step five. Is it that happen when you have a thousand subscribers that, that, or is it a hundred subscribers? No, that is just simply this back end part. So when you go to your channel, like, let me like, look at my link, look at this entire link up here at the top. Yeah. I it, just got mine that C slash Jen Maldonado. This is my custom name right here. Mm -hmm. This is my custom username for YouTube, right? But all I did is I added this back end part to it. So when you add this back end part, which I'll send you, when you add this back end part to the end of your, 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 your URL, uh -huh. when people go to it, so again, people click on my dot TV, they click on my domain. And when they click on it, I have them, I have it forwarded to, um, let me go, let me go back over here. <clears throat> it's they're forwarding to this dot to my domain, which takes them straight to this page right here. And they can just subscribe. So you don't have to have a hundred subscribers or a thousand, but look where it takes them. It takes them straight here. So and that's the only that you just put in that website uh, in the Facebook area, right? Well, the domain is what I put in the Facebook area. Yeah. This domain is what oh, I got from GoDaddy. The domain. So but just like it just forward it to that. To I just forward it to this link up here. Okay. But what I'm saying is that I added this back end part to the link, uh -huh. the question mark sub underscore confirmation equals one dot. Mm -hmm. okay. That right there, you add it to the end of yours and it takes them straight to this page. 
where they have to click subscribe or cancel. If they click cancel, then it just brings them to your homepage. No big deal. That's but right. at least that subscribe was right in their face, right? The moment they clicked. Exactly. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. And so it just saves that person time on having to go to the red button, click on subscribe. It's like, no, they clicked on your link and automatically they have the ability to subscribe right away. Okay. So I would, what I would do is it, that's if you're building a YouTube channel, I have it going there before my YouTube channel, I'd have it go to a website or whatever, you know, but I just think that once you have all the links set up over here on the personal page, yeah, I'm going to buy it. Yeah. I'm going to buy the TV and just send it to the YouTube channel. Send them to your YouTube channel since you're going to be putting a lot of stuff up over there. Yeah. You know? Um, but then also once you put all those links over there, you add them right here. So right here in the more info, this is where I should see Instagram, LinkedIn, Pinterest, Twitter. And the way that looks like is over here on my page. So if I come to my business page and I click about, this is what I want yours to look like. So right now, and, and all this is, is just adding more credibility. It's adding more social proof. It's letting the audience know, hey, Jen's a real person. She's not just on Facebook. She's actually on all these other platforms too. And now that I'm really looking at all the platforms, her branding, her consistency in her name, like this is just stuff consumers notice. It's not that we're trying to pick up, pick it out. It's not like I'm, I'm, I'm consciously looking for these little details. No, it's just what as consumers, it's what we see. It's kind of, I just believe it's what we see subconsciously. And so when I can come to this page and this is what I see support. And then I see her.com versus coming to maybe my page, people click about, and then they scroll down. And, they, and then they see Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital, Inspire Digital. I'm giving off one name for everything, right? So it just adds more. Oh, David's on Instagram? Okay, shoot, let me follow him there. Yeah, cool. People are going to follow you on social media before they ever click on your link, before they ever pick up the phone and call you. They're going to message you through one of these platforms before anything. So let them know, you're, let them know where you're at. You know? Okay. So, yeah. so that's step one. That's what I call basic branding, basic social media branding. And every entrepreneur is looking for the next sell. They want to sell something at 997 or they want to capture a lead. They want to run an ad and capture a lead. But it's like, man, when I go look at the pages, they're missing all the basics. And, 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 and then they're wondering why no one is, they're not capturing leads. And it's, and it's because in my opinion, no one believes you, you exist because your pages look dead. Yeah. Right. And it doesn't look dead as far as content because we could tell you're posting, but it just looks dead as far as optimized. There's no links. The website don't, doesn't even go anywhere. You know, these little basic things. And that's what I call basic. Step one, basic listing your links. And then here's what I would do also on step two. Here's what I would do on step two. And then, and then that's all I really got for you. Step three is, is, is then when you go into ads, when you start running ads. But you already, we kind of touched on that in the beginning. That, that's your game plan is Facebook ad. Instagram ad, and then also taking that video and uploading it to YouTube every single week. But, yeah. but before you, before any of that, here's what I highly recommend you do. Because another thing, when people start seeing your ad, as you start to brand yourself even more and you actually start running ads, which is what I call step three, step one is listing all these links. Step two is what I'm going to show you right now. But step three is, 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 is when you run more Facebook ads. So before you even start running more Facebook ads to, to try to find people to buy your stuff, before you do that, here's what you want to do next. This is what I call step two. Mm -hmm. Look, this is an ad. There's the text. There's the image. There's the sign up. I can either click the image, I can click the sign up, or I can click on the link and go to their business page. When I click on the link, and I come to their business page to see who they are, and I see eight likes, I'm turned off. Mm -hmm. Now, you have more likes than most people. You have about 900 on that page. Yeah. And I'm, I'm not promoting anything. And you're not even promoting it. Yeah. Here's what I would do. The 945, here's what promoting it does. So, for example, here's my page. We scroll down, scroll down, and here's what you see on mine. Yeah. So. Before I even spent a ton of money on Facebook ads or YouTube ads or trying to drive someone to my 997 webinar, before I worried about any of that, I made sure all my links were set up and I made sure that this like number was high. What, what is a good, not a good like? Because that I can do it quickly. And I'm, I'm like 10,000, is 10,000 a good amount? Yes, but I truly believe you won't know how to run that ad. I truly believe that. 
Now, now you don't even need that many. It just depends. It depends. It depends. It depends on what oh, your industry. Question for you. Uh, and this is why, like you told me it's something that I, I'm just asking because I don't know, should I focus on that? Or when we start running the ad or when you start running, because I want to pay you for do that. <laughs> no, I don't want to do that. Um, I'll do that ad. That's the next ad. That's our next dollar. Okay. That's where our next dollar goes. Step okay. one, listen to all the links. Step uh -huh. two, running that like number up. That's where we start right now. That's no, and that's not a monthly ad. It's a one-time ad. You don't need 10,000 right away, but you do need a few thousand. You want to take the 900, take it to at least 3,900 mm -hmm. and call it a day. And the way I can run the ad, I know, I know I, I've spoken to thousands of people. Not, not many know, know how to run that ad the right way through Facebook, how but I can run that ad. How much you want for that? What's that? How much budget you want? I'm just going to start putting numbers so we can start setting things up and, and I can start fixing all of this. For this one, I know for a fact for every, let's, let's call it $100. For every $100 that we put at that like ad, uh -huh. we can go up another 1,000 likes. Okay. So $100. Let's start with there. Perfect. So this number, by the time I'm done with it, will be at 1,900. Okay, cool. And, that, and that's going to happen in the next few days. Uh -huh. That was worth the first 100 bucks. Monthly. Now we got all of our links listed. Now we have 1900 likes. Now we're good for right now. Okay. Now what you're going to do is start working on video content. Mm -hmm. Start, start budgeting more later down the line for, for running that as Facebook ads. But in the meantime, take that same video content and upload it to YouTube, upload okay. it to YouTube, three videos per week. Try to try to do. And that's another part that I do as well. But you know, if, if you're just starting out, I mean, you're going to want, you know, you as much as you can do yourself, so you don't have to pay nobody, right? That's what you want to do for sure. Okay. So if you have the time, if you have the content, put up three videos I, a week. I actually do have the content. I have a bunch of interviews that I did with awesome real estate investors because I do interviews too. And that's when it gets really fun. What you so. should do is you should look at all that content and, 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 and lay out three a week. Uh -huh. for x amount of months like how much content do we have and, and 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 can we keep producing content yeah because you can easily you know interview people you could do content on anything on anything but when it comes to your youtube channel keep it on topic right keep it on topic we're talking about entrepreneurship we're talking about investing we're talking about real estate we're talking about women empowerment right these topics yeah. are is what your channel is going to be known for through the youtube can algorithm you, yeah can you go to the youtube channel pretty quick yes Okay, good. What is it? It's just Jen Maldonado. So, um, that's right yeah. there. Man, you got the you got the look in everything, Jen. Like you can go so far with this; it's not even funny. Yeah, this is just behind. I put it behind with the scenes with Jen Maldonado. I, I want to change that, but also I did playlists. Um, no, if you click in the playlist, as I told you, I don't have any videos posts yet. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. Oh, it doesn't show. Okay, I have to work on that because I have the different playlists that talks about the topics. So I have to. I guess I have to put videos there. Yeah, once know. you add your first video, then it'll show. Okay, so I, I maybe I just gonna then start your, doing your first video. video in that playlist. Then it'll show. Better. Yeah, because I did a couple of playlists there. Real estate strategies, private lending, raising capital for real estate project, finances for real estate, and high performance skills for real estate investors. Man, I'm telling you, Jen, two to three videos per week, like it was your religion. That's YouTube organic. And that's what you want to do for sure. For sure, yeah. for sure. And as I told you, this was a text day. I text a couple of people. I text the first people until my C or D. And I got a hundred, 121 wow. subscribers. That's I have amazing. a copy to LinkedIn. I have like 5,000 followers in LinkedIn um, and, and Facebook. This is people that I know and they're literally calling me all the time for, for advice. So it's going to be an easy thing for me. Jen, what I want to do is I want to interview you. We're going to set up another call for an interview. Okay. I want to interview you because I have I, my whole network are female real estate agents. Oh, cool. Mm -hmm. My whole network, my whole network. Like I'm not my whole... an agent, just to let you know. <laughs> What's that? I'm not an agent. I'm just... No, I know, I know. But you're looking for other people to invest. You're looking to yeah. teach people, right? You're looking. Yeah. So it's like it goes hand in hand. 
it goes hand in hand and, and another female teaching another female that's, that's women empowerment. Like there's a, yeah. that's a huge movement that you can create here. Yeah. And that's why I'm movement. a part of Ren. So I'm, I'm the one behind the logistics of Ren. Wow. Wow. So it just comes down to putting that content out, Jen, and, and, and yeah. just focus on the basics. Let's, let's, let's get all the links up first, yeah. step one, and then I let's take this like us. number. It's, it's here, so it's going to be focusing this week to get it done this week. That's why I wanted to talk to you because I'm like, I want to prepare, you, prepare for you. Um, I already know, so I want to start um, where are on March. So I want to start on April before Ignite. So by the time that Ignite comes, I'm going to use Ignite's advertisement. And that's the other thing I wanted to ask you because I'm going to start sending people there. So April 4 and 5th, I'm going to have a back insert where people are going to be going to my YouTube channel to subscribe. Mm. So I already have the ad. Um, do you mind if I share it with you? Yeah, go for it. And Let me then, see. It. Yeah. And then I want you to tell me like how much do you charge monthly so I can start putting that on my budget too. And we will lay out a plan with different steps. So and let me add. Let's see where it is. And we'll just, I mean, we'll start small. We'll, we'll start super small and just scale up. It just, I mean, it just comes down to what your budget is. I mean, one yeah. way I can do it is where I can just coach you through these and we can maybe yeah. set up coaching calls and I can just, I, I can just coach you on the Facebook ad. Or the second option is just to say, Hey David, here's a budget. You go do what you gotta do. You yeah, know, maybe or, yeah. or there's a third option where I have a video course. That's my course. I have a training course teaching you every Facebook ad. Yeah. Nah. That's another option. Honestly, David, I don't want to learn how to become a social media. Yeah, right. Exactly. So yeah, I don't have the time. I prefer to go and raise capital and teach people how to raise capital and support someone like you in your business and promote you and even do who runs my real estate thing. Amazing. I interview you and how important it is. And we talk about that in real estate. I love it. In fact, I want to invite you to my network group because I have resources there. I have people that they do branding, but they don't do social media. Mm -hmm. They do um, website, but they don't do social media. I need someone like you. And I would love for you to be there because I want to use, put you as a resource for my students. Yes, for sure. That'd be fun. That'd be fun. Okay, yeah. Cool. Keep me, keep me updated on that. I'm going to invite you to that private group and there's a bunch of resources. So here's my ad that I'm going to be using. I don't know if you recommend me other things. If anything, there's too oh. much text on it. Too much text. Okay. The ad, the image cannot be covered with more than 20% text. Got it. Okay. And there's, there's, this is probably more than 20% of the image being covered with text. So maybe, maybe I just take this out because honestly, I, I will prefer for them to subscribe because it's going to be an easy sell. Gotcha. Okay. What, what do you think? What do you recommend? Well, the text, it's all about getting them to subscribe. Mm -hmm. And you want to run an ad to get that, to make that happen? No, this, this is, this is going to go like, there's going to be 300 women already and the rent inspire. I'm one of the leaders and this is a perfect place to right away get 300 subscription in one day. So, and this is going to be in a back insert. So I'm going gotcha. to tell them. Oh, okay. Go gotcha. Subscribe. I love it. Yeah. No, if that's where it's going, that is perfect. That is okay. super perfect. Yeah, this yeah, this is not an ad. It just go in a back insert as this, and then I put that in there. Okay, scroll down. What's the YouTube the YouTube link? Scroll down. I just put. I don't have the link. I just put general. Yeah, you just put. Okay, on on the YouTube. What I would what I would do mm -hmm. is I would. And see, that's why this is where in this particular case, this is where Jen Maldonado dot TV would make more but, sense. Okay. Jen Maldonado. I'm going to buy that Jen Mal in the ad. In the ad. Dot TV. Ad. That's what, that's what we want to put right here. Okay. Dot Not dot com. It's dot TV. Okay. Perfect. Yeah. And you know what, to tell you the truth, you might, I mean, it doesn't hurt to keep it, but at the same time, the, the YouTube icon and your name and then the email, that's not even necessary. If, if this was me, I would drive all attention to jenmaldonado.tv. Okay. okay. That's it. You don't need to email me. You don't need to see my name right here next to the YouTube icon. No. jenmaldonado.tv. Go there. Okay. And, then, and then when they go there, 
again, they're forwarded to the subscription link, okay. not just to your YouTube channel. Exactly. They're, That's why I need to do the confirmation thing. That's why I do the confirmation thing. Yeah. yeah, for sure. Okay. So, oh. but no, this is perfect. And the insert, that's perfect. Okay. Super perfect. Okay. Okay. So then step three, so we will put a hundred. So, um, the coaching thing, honestly, to be open to you, David, I do not have time for that. Yeah. <laughs> right. Perfect. Leave it I up to me then. Yeah. So Leave how much do you charge for month monthly? We would start at 500 per okay. month and just go up from there. Okay. And, and just go up as we, as we produce, as we start to get the business rolling, as we start to capture leads, as we start, start to see an ROI, because okay. there's a lot that goes into it. It's not just one ad. What I end up doing is I end up running multiple ads per week because when you run Facebook ads, you, or when you run any ad, but really Facebook specifically, you have to run multiple at a, at, at a, at a given time. What mm -hmm. everyone does, what 99% of us do is we'll run one ad and, and pray to God that we get someone to click on it. Well, 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 on the other hand, the top producing advertiser is running 50 ads at one time and split testing to see which ones work for him. Mm -hmm. It's like, that's why you have to run multiple. You have to have some type of budget. Mm -hmm. You have to have some type of budget and you have to, you have to, it has to be allocated for, for this exact mm -hmm. thing. Whereas a lot of people hope and pray that this one ad works. I want you to just put, I want you to have disposable income where you can just throw at it. And whatever happens, happens. It's yeah. kind of like one of my mentors told me, he thought, David, you need to look at Facebook ads as gambling money. So if you lose yeah. it, don't, it, don't play with money you cannot afford to lose. That's and that's right. with all advertising, not just Facebook, with all advertising. Like not all advertising works all the time at all. So you got to kind of go into it knowing that we have to run multiple ads, knowing that there, we have to spend a little bit, you know? <clears throat> yeah, that's why I want to so, focus on, honestly, I want to focus on YouTube because I want YouTube to pay for my advertisement. That's yes, YouTube, problem. YouTube. Well, that's going to be organic. That's going to be slow <laughs> organic. But the reason why it's worth it to me is because it's slow organic. And at least at the end of the day, I'm going to be getting paid from it. Like not a whole lot just yet. It's only at 500, but that 500 will be 5,000 per month. So, and at least it's paying for itself. So when, when you, how many subscribers you can, you have to hit that thousand. So you start getting ads. So, so YouTube can start playing ads on your videos. Yeah. Okay, cool. At, at a thousand. Got it. Okay, cool. That's but I'm telling you, you can get there fast. You can get there three videos per week. Every week you can get to a thousand fast. Yeah. Yeah. And I know I can, I actually have a list of 5,000 people too, yeah. that they follow me. It's people that I met. And they're Get them all to your channel. Get them all to your channel. Yeah, Everything is around your channel. And, and th that's, how, that's how it is with me now. That's how it is with me now. And it, it's been like that for about a year. Everything evolves around my channel. Yep. You want to find me on social media? Subscribe to my channel. Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because that's where I'm getting paid now. You know, it makes yeah. sense. Yeah. So okay. what, what you should do, I mean, let me actually give me one second. So, okay, a couple of things for you. And then if you can also send me the contract so I can read it and start preparing. There is no contract. Let's just okay. run the like ad. Do that for now. Do you oh, have the hundred okay. budget to put towards the ad now? The, yeah, yeah, definitely. What? Definitely. Give me the card. What card can I post it with? Yeah. Um, let me give it to you. So, and, but I don't want to start. Just give me a week. Let me get my card. Let me, give me a week so I can set up the things and make sure everything is set. So, um, what about, uh, can you write my phone number? That way we say, Hey, it's a go. And then we go. So just, the just send me the card whenever you're ready. Cause I'm, I, I could, what I would in a perfect world before you even get everything else going, I want that number to be at 1900 likes. Yeah. Okay. Perfect. So it, nothing else needs to happen other than your finances. If your finances are ready to go, let's run it yeah, now. If not, no big deal. We'll do it later. Okay. So I'm ready for it. It's just, I okay. want to make sure that I change everything in the Facebook that you recommended. Cause I just don't have time today and tomorrow. Let me do it for you. I'm going to okay. do step one. I'm going to list all your links. You're going to give me a good review on my business page. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> so okay. I just need to log in. So I'm going to email you what okay. I need. So I just need to log into your, into Perfect. your account. And let's get it done. Yeah. Okay. okay. What, okay. what card can I post it with? So it is, Give me one second. It's a visa. Okay. 